Hello, Paul Hamilton here from UTB. So when we're creating these sort of objects and we're building them from scratch, we need to be able to do some simple things like adding, um, joining, editing, duplicating, and grouping, I think I mentioned as well. So let's have a look at how we do that. Let's create a quick horizontal uh, project in Reality Composer. Let's go up to the plus at the top and let's add an object that we can make some kind of insect or spider legs out of. So if we go up to the plus here, we'll actually grab the matchstick, which I think is found in the science category. And you can use any object at all. You don't have to use the matchstick, but I'm just going to go down there and grab the matchstick. And what I'll do is I'll select it by tapping on it. I'll go over to my properties panel when I've selected it and change it to iconic in the look section and make it like a metallic kind of steam punk insect kind of leg. So I might make it aluminium or steel or something like that. So that's looking really good. Doesn't look like a matchstick anymore. Looks like a creepy little leg, which is great. Uh, but what we need to be able to do is um, select it and duplicate it. So we're going to use duplicate a lot in this project. And then we can actually drag it by dragging our cones. Um, I always like to drag it back on top of the other one so that I've got that nice kind of um, symmetry or alignment. And then I can start moving it up. I can click on my red cone or my blue cone and do some rotations if I wanted to. And then just getting it in the right spot. So don't forget, you've got your snapping tool. Your snapping tool is essential for these sort of um, actions, but you can turn it off if you want to become more accurate. If you find that you're not getting to the exact degree, you want to turn that off. So I'm just going to move this around. That's looking pretty good. I might actually rotate it just a touch more so we can see the difference there. That's looking great. I'll join that over. A uh, hot tip from me, make sure that you always zoom in with your two fingers as close as you can possibly get just to see how it's all aligning and how it's matching up. Look at it from different perspectives to make sure it's looking good. And then we need to group them together. So I can actually tap on the side of my page and select all. And then if I tap on the objects now, I can now group them. Now that's the cheating way. Sometimes you don't want to select all. So how do you select just a couple of objects? Well, it's a little bit fiddly, takes a little bit of time. You hold your finger down on one of your items, keep your finger down, don't take it off, and then tap the other object. Then when you tap, you'll get that grouping mechanism. So once again, it's holding down, long press, keep your finger down on one, tap the other one, and then you can repeat the pro, uh, process there. So if I go along and duplicate my duplicate or my grouping, now I've got four legs, and I can start to position those as well. And then I can do the same thing. So I can go to select all in group. And all of a sudden, my four legs turns into one leg that I can then duplicate again. This is a fantastic way to get symmetry and be able to kind of be more efficient with your creation mode. Um, saves a lot of time. So you can see there, I've duplicated that whole set of legs. I'm rotating it by my, um, through my green, and I've got this beautiful line of symmetry now, and it's actually becoming. So I could group them both together and duplicate again to make another set of legs. Um, once you get fairly fast at it, you can see that you can create some pretty cool stuff. So if we go back to my little uh, Mechanica insect here, you can see how I've done that. Paul Hamilton here from UTB.